Today we are talking about weight loss supplements. We will go over all the herbs that can help you in your weight loss journey. As you know, a big part of diabetes management is weight loss. There are many ways of losing weight, such as diets, which in my opinion, there is no single diet that can work for everyone, like keto diet or plant-based diet or Mediterranean diet or even intermittent fasting. All can work if done correctly and consistently. On the other hand, a lot of people also have many limitations that can prevent them going into these diets or staying in them. If you are already losing a lot of weight on one of these diets and do not need any help, I would recommend not to watch this video and move on to my other videos that may be more beneficial for you. But if you think that you may benefit from learning a few herbs that can help with the weight loss, stick around. Anyhow, let's get started guys. I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist, a metabolism and weight loss specialist, and you are watching Sugar MD channel. One of the most common thing that I hear in my clinic is how can I lose weight? When I talk about diets, people will say diets don't work for me. They may be partially true and I understand the natural urge to use a medication or a supplement to be able to make the weight loss easier. There are so many medications the diabetics can use to help with the weight loss. Some of them are Ozempic, Victoza, Rebelsis, Cerulicity, Bidurian. However, they are full of side effects and they're quite expensive. As a result, patients who can use these medications are fairly lucky if their insurance covers them. On the other hand, the lucky ones who can use these medications may still have to pay a good chunk of change and have to deal with many short or long-term side effects. Having said that, most people tolerate the side effects because weight loss is a good motivator. You know what I'm saying here? How about those who do not want to or cannot use these medications for one of the reasons that I mentioned? What do they do? I'm going to go over all the natural remedies that I know that can help with the weight loss, especially when you have diabetes. Now, do not keep me accountable for missing a few herbs here and there, but I'll do my best to summarize the weight loss supplements in a short amount of time. I'm also going to go over our new weight loss supplement that is called Sugar MD Weight Loss Formula, and I'll explain to you why I chose what I chose to put in my weight loss supplement. At the end of this video, you can check the link in the description or just simply visit our website at sugarmds.com to check it out. Let us dive into the herbs and the supplements that can help with weight loss. First on my list is white mulberry leaf extract. Most weight loss medications or herbs target lowering the appetite. On the other hand, many patients that I know of, they say they don't really eat much. They just have a low metabolism problem. Now, mulberry leaf extract can be a solution for these people. A recent study published in a reputable journal, researchers added rutin, a natural compound found in white mulberry berry to the drinking water of two groups of mice. One group of mice was genetically obese while the other group had diet-induced obesity. Both groups of mice were fed a regular diet throughout the entire study. In both groups of mice, the rutin was found to activate the brown adipose tissue or the brown fat, which led to increased energy expenditure and better glucose control and better balance of insulin and glucagon to maintain the glucose levels and of course, fat reduction. If you have a sweet tooth, white mulberry also can help for that too. For these reasons, yes, we have added a good amount of mulberry leaf extract in our sugar MD weight loss formula. Second on the list is green tea extract. Now green tea is one of the healthiest drinks in the world. We know that. It is packed with antioxidants and various plant compounds that may benefit your overall health as well. So how does it really help with the weight loss? Well, this health supplement is loaded with cathakins, which are potent antioxidants. The most important of these cathakins is called apigallocate, which is a substance that boosts your metabolism. Although one cup of green tea may raise your antioxidant levels, most studies have examined the benefits of green tea extract, which is a concentrated source of catechins. So we have used the green tea extract in our weight loss formula as well, exactly for that reason. 
Animal studies also suggest that the active compounds in green tea can help with weight loss by boosting some fat burning hormones such as norepinephrine or noradrenaline. That same specific antioxidant substance that I mentioned earlier, the epigallocate, inhibits the enzyme that breaks down the hormone norepinephrine. And you guess it right, when this enzyme is inhibited, the amount of available norepinephrine increases, promoting fat breakdown. To be honest with you, caffeine in green tea shows the synergistic effect as well with the mulberry. So for those who do not get the results from exercise, here are also good news too. Green tea extract has been repeatedly associated with increased fat burning, especially during exercise. Not just an association, but in fact, in one study, guys who took green tea extract before the exercise burned 17% more fat than men who did not take the supplement. The study suggested that the green tea can boost the fat burning effects of exercise. How about the resting state? Well, several studies also suggest that taking green tea extract or the supplement can make you burn more calories, even at resting state. Next on the list is banaba extract or corozolic acid. In addition to their antidiabetic properties, banaba leaves offer health benefits such as being an antioxidant, the cholesterol lowering, and anti-obesity. And yes, banaba helps with blood sugars while it's also helping with the weight loss. In a study published in 2014, researchers assessed the effectiveness of banaba on weight loss. After 12 weeks of treatment, that period, those who took the extract blend had lost significantly more weight and body mass compared to those who took placebo. Yes, this was a human study, not just a rat study. There was also a more significant reduction in the waist and hip circumference as well. So how does banaba extract really do that? Well, it helps lower the insulin resistance, which as a result lowers the blood glucose and induced weight loss. So yes, you guess it right again. We also have banaba extract in our weight loss formula. And let's talk about now about the herbs that are not in our weight loss formula, but available in the market. One of the reasons these herbs are not in our weight loss formula is just simply because there is no space left in the capsule. So we try to use what we believe will be most effective based on the published data and the literature. Yet you will probably see results from the following herbs that I will talk about. And one of them is Garcinia Cambodia. So that extract, it has a mild effect on the weight loss because a 2011 review concluded that and looked at the 12 studies that are done in the past. And on average, it costs around two pounds or less than a kilogram of weight loss. To me, that's not very impressive. So that one was out when we formulated our supplement. The next one is Hydroxycot that has been around for more than a decade and it's currently one of the most popular weight loss supplements in the world. Now, one study claimed moderate weight loss, which most people will be happy about, but unfortunately, there's only one study out there on the supplement. So no data for long-term effectiveness or anything like that. So more research is needed for sure. The caffeine, which is uh, in the short-term studies, show that the caffeine will boost your metabolism between 3 and 10%, but there are also some studies showing the caffeine can also cause quite a bit of weight loss in some humans. And yet most of you know by firsthand that very high amounts of caffeine can cause anxiety, insomnia, jitteriness, and irritability. Get out of there! I drank too much coffee. Raspberry ketone is another substance found in raspberries and some people like it. Well, that thing is responsible for the distinct smell that it has. And the raspberry ketones increase the breakdown of fat, presumably, and increase the levels of a hormone called adiponectin, which is believed to be related to weight loss. The problem with the raspberry ketone is that there is not a single study on raspberry ketones in humans. But one rat study studying using massive doses showed that it reduced the weight gain. I didn't say it caused weight loss, did I? Next is glucomannan. Glucomannan is a type of fiber found in the roots of the elephant yam, also called konjac. 
Now remember the konjac rice we talked about and we even made some recipes in the previous videos? If you haven't watched them, go ahead and check them out. Here is how it works. The glucomannan absorbs the water and becomes a gel-like substance. It literally sits in your stomach and just make you feel full. Is it effective? Well, let's look at the studies. Three human studies showed that the glucomannan, along with a healthy diet, helped people lose around 8 to 10 pounds, which is 3.5 to 4.5 kilograms of weight in 5 weeks. Well, that's pretty good. The fiber also feeds the friendly bacteria in your intestine. As a result, glucomannan also offers lower blood sugar, lower cholesterol level, and is very effective against constipation. What is the downside? Well, side effects, it can cause bloating, flatulence, and soft stools. And it can interfere with some oral medications if taken at the same time because it's just not gonna let those medications be absorbed. It is important to take the glucomannan about half an hour before your meals with a glass of water. Let me know if you have tried it and what you think about it in the comments. The next one is conjugated linoleic acid is the next on the list. So this has been popular weight loss supplement for a few years. It may lower your appetite, it may boost metabolism a little and stimulate the fat breakdown and as a result has a modest weight loss potential. But it also has been associated with fatty liver. So I'm not sure about its safety in the long term. The next one is Maratrum. This one is a combination of two plants that potentially change the metabolism of fat cells. At least that's what they claim. They say that Maratrum makes it harder for fat cells to multiply and decrease the amount of fat that they pick up from the bloodstream and helps them burn the stored fat. The exact science behind this is a little fuzzy to me. So far, only one study is published. And in this study, after eight weeks, the Meratrim group had lost around 11 pounds, which is around five kilograms of weight, and around 4.7 inches of their waistlines. They also had improved quality of life and their blood sugar was better, their cholesterol was better, and the triglycerides were better. But the question is, would you go with only one single study? Not sure how they really constructed the study. But I'm here to tell you what is out there and what is in our weight loss supplement as well. Everybody is somewhat different and the same supplement or herb may not work for the same individual or for two different individuals. Even the best, even the most expensive medications in the market will not work the same on everybody. My suggestion would be to keep trying and do your best to stay healthy and happy. Let me know what you think of these herbs and whether you have tried any of them or not. And if you tried our weight loss supplement, make sure you talk about it and make sure to give a review as well. Our weight loss formula may help with the blood sugars as well. So please write your comment on that as well if it did help you. Well, guess what? We'll see you in the next video. Write a comment, like I said, subscribe, like, and thank you. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.